before we bought the plane to America. Hey, yo, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Hey, yo, what's up, man? What's going on, man? But right now, after Black Panther, hey, yo, what's up? What is going on, man? I am now proud of my African accent because they're like, oh my God, where's that accent from? Are you from Wakanda? Yes, I am a loyal citizen of Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda forever, my brother. Let me tell you something. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. I never knew my African accent was going to be sexy. The same thing. Now, let me tell you something. Another culture shock I experienced here is the fact that everyone wants to lose weight. Losing weight is good business. Where we come from in Africa, losing weight is a sign of poverty. Losing weight means you can't have food to eat. Losing weight means life is not good for you. So I want to tell all the big women in the house tonight, there's good news for you. Not everybody who loses weight is healthy. God has created everybody differently. African women especially, black women, were created with some special effects. Were created to be big. Science called us matter, anything that has weight and occupies space. So look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, I am a matter. I have weight and I occupy space. Let me tell you something, in Africa, if you don't occupy space, you are a nobody. So all this supermodel working with catwalk, Cat is not the only animal in the jungle. There's also elephants. There's hippopotamus. So when others are cat walking, hippopotamus walk. When they are cat walking, elephants walk. Elephants, when they step on the ground, the ground must shake. That is the evidence of good living. You know, I'm surprised that anytime you turn on your TV, four out of every 10 commercials is about weight loss. Nutri system, one into another, get thin. No, being thin is not for everybody. Be proud of you. Even Bible says, Africans, we are good measures. Press down, shake it together, and running over. That is what you're supposed to be. And I notice American romance is easy. Now, let me tell you something. If you're an American, born and raised, and you're getting married to an African. I'm going to repeat that. If you're an American, you're getting married to an African. There are some romantic practices you should not do with us Africans. To you, it might be romantic. To us, it's a punishment. <laughs> Number one, candle light dinner. I was born in darkness, don't take me back. Okay? Candle light dinner might be romantic to you. You know why? Because you had light all your life. I grew up with candle and lantern. I came to America to enjoy this life. Don't take it off because of dinner. <laughs> Number two, you think it's romantic asking someone who's born and raised in Africa to buy you flowers because it's romantic. And what are you going to do with the flowers? Put your nose in it and throw it away. That's a waste of my money. <laughs> I am an African. I do not invest in vegetables I cannot eat. If I'm going to buy flowers, it had better be spinach or colored green. So after sniffing it, put it in the pot. Let us eat. Another thing you guys do in America that you think is romantic, to me is not romantic, is going for a walk. Going for a walk, you say, honey, let's go for a walk on the ocean side. I am tired of walking. Have you not heard about Africans walking five miles to school, five miles back? I am tired. I did that for 20 years. I came to America to start driving cars. Going for a walk is a punishment. To you, oh my God, it's romantic. Nothing like that is romantic for me. You are punishing me. I'm tired of walking. Look at my legs. Look at my legs. They are no longer straight due to excessive walking. I want to drive a car. Let's drive a convertible. We can still enjoy the aesthetics. Americans are their romance. I don't understand. So let us understand that. Now, another thing I noticed about you Americans is the fact that when you guys cross the road, you guys just believe that all the cars will wait. And that's how I know when Africans are crossing the street. You see, when Americans are crossing the street, once they see the red light, they just believe all the cars have good brakes. So they just jump in the street. 
Africans, we don't trust anything. Our system is not built on trust. Our system is built on not trusting anything. So even when we see the le red light, only Africans cross and can reverse. This is how we cross. I don't like the way this guy is coming. This guy is coming too close. We don't trust any car that is coming too close. We can get to the end of the road, we run back. That's how Africans are built. We are built not to trust. In America, when a guy tells you, honey, I've been watching you all night. I can get my ass off for you. I'm like, oh my God, it's so romantic. You tell an African woman that, look, I have been looking at you all night. Say, my brother, you, I'm not the only one you are looking at. Look at other people. You have eyes to see everybody. I don't trust you. You guys just trust everything romantic. I don't even trust the DJ. He's been there all night. Do I trust you now? Do you trust the DJ? Let's go.